What's going on, guys? It's your boy Keon from Home Court. This guy. Kind of looks like me, right? Eh. I think it kind of looks like me. Anyways, yep, yeah, we're from Home Court. And uh, in this video, we talk about Damian Lillard and the impact he's had so far this season. He's been on a killer tear lately. And I kind of give the hot take that he's the best point guard in the league right now. So please check it out. If you like the video, drop a like. And if you really like our content, subscribe to the channel. Um, every new subscriber is like a new family member to us. So we're just trying to build up the fam right now. So come come join the fam. <laughs> um, but yeah, enjoy the video. She wanna vibe with me. I told her little baby, just go ahead and sit down. Ay. She wanna ride with me. I told her little baby, you just for the click now. Rockstar status my motor. Look how I came in. Damien Lillard has been on an absolute tear lately. And I feel like it's kind of known in the NBA that he's an underrated player. But I still feel like people don't talk. Like, everyone's like, oh, Damian Lillard's underrated. He's cold, yada, yada. But I feel like the national media still doesn't give him the attention he deserves. Even though it's understood he's underrated and should be talked about more. So I kind of want to show him some love. So... Yeah, he doesn't get Curry attention. Oh, but no. He's putting up on, more Westbrook numbers more than, than Curry. Yeah. And doing it, like, very similar fashion. Yeah. So, Tony, what have you noticed about this Damian Lillard run? What have you been impressed with? And what has it really shown you about Damian Lillard, the player? Um, I've been really impressed with his consistency. Um, I think his big performances are glorified more than, say, Harden's. But on a more consistent basis, you'll watch Lillard and he will be like... I wouldn't say better than Harden, but just, like, less bad than Harden. You know, like, Har Harden's been having this kind of, like, cold streak. Mm -hmm. And I feel like with Lillard, like, he doesn't get cold that often. It's more like he's always there. He's hitting. It's just kind of on the Blazers if they're playing. Um, I think what he's doing is very prolific. Um, probably, I mean, he's been breaking a lot of records that I thought Harden already broke. That's a probably most Im another impressive thing um, with his, like, he has, like, five games over 45 um, or something, or, like, just recently. I think he should be getting a lot more attention about the underrated stuff. Like, he's doing better than Curry and putting up better numbers than Curry did when he was winning MVP. Mm -hmm. um, and Curry was, like, known for changing the game. So, yeah. I feel like, I mean, Lillard didn't change the game, but... You you got to pick him up at half court, just like Curry. And it's really easy for him to score because he could shoot from anywhere. And if you don't pick him up and it's an open three, he's probably going to make it. Yeah. Like, you have to be there or else, like... And that's kind of a cool thing where you could really shoot from wherever you want. But it's really up to the defense. Like, you got to press him. And honestly, Whiteside's playing a lot better, too. Um mm -hmm. Whiteside hit like a turnaround fadeaway to ice the game against the Lakers. Yep. Something we didn't see when he was on the Heat. And Nurkic, they said Nurkic is coming back this season when I watched the last Blazers game. So mm -hmm. they said he might come back in a month. So I think even when he comes back, they'll like, they'll, I think they'll start talking about the Blazers more because they'll be in playoff contention. Yeah. But right now they're the ninth seed. So yeah. um, I guess John Morant's leading his team to a better record. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. So, just to give the audience, for anyone who doesn't know, kind of what Lillard's been doing, just to give them some numbers from his last six game, 48 and 10, 36 and 11, 50 and 13, 47 and 8, 61 and 7, 51 and 12. That second number is assists. And um, they're 60, 61 and 51. Last yeah, game. the last two games <laughs> with 51 and 12 assists. That's crazy. And they are five and one during this stretch. They have beat the Lakers, the Rockets, the Jazz, and Alejandro's beloved Pacers in this six game stretch. Um, but how's he not getting doubled? Man, James Harden gets doubled the whole game. Yeah. How how does not he he doesn't get doubled once? Yeah, I mean they should. They don't. So. He is single-handedly trying to will the Blazers <laughs> to the playoffs. Like, literally, he's like, Kobe, in 2013, like, we're making the playoffs. I'm putting this on my back. They're only a game and a half back now. So, they're on the verge. I definitely think they'll catch Memphis and get that 8 for seed. For sure, for sure. Um, Lillard is currently, I'm sorry to break it to everyone, he is the best point guard in the NBA right now. 
He just Damn. is. He's just the best point guard in the Whoa. NBA. And he is the perfect guy to build your team around. The the Trailblazers have sorry depth. They are sorry at a lot of positions. Um, They're not built very well. Like, the pieces don't really mesh. They have a lot of scores, but they don't have a lot of defenders. They don't really mesh their pieces well. They have Whiteside, but they also have Nurkic coming back. I don't think their pieces mesh very well. I think they have one of the worst benches in the league. And I don't think they have any great defenders. And so the reason I say he's the perfect guy to build your team around is because he said many times, I'm staying with the Blazers. I'm not jumping shit. And he has kind of, you can see in the way he talks and presents himself, he has a, a sense of maturity that you don't see in all the other players. Along with the buckets, he'll give everyone in the league. Like, you can name your favorite player, bucket, 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 bucket. Like, Damon Lillard is the perfect player to build your team around. He's humble, and he'll want to stay with you. He's loyal, and he'll want to work with whatever team you give him. The man is a bucket, and he just needs to be shown more love. I know saying he's the best point guard in the NBA. Yeah, over Luka and Harden? I don't consider Luka a point guard. Luka's definitely a point he's guard. He's a point guard, yeah. He handles ball. Do they list him at point guard? Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, but no, no, no. First of all, let me say, Damon Lillard is better than Luka. So that's, I'm putting that out there. And right now, I think he's playing better than Harden, too. I'd rather have Damian Lillard right now than James Harden. I, yeah, but what's right now? Like a week? This above, season, I'd rather have Damian season, Lillard than James season? Harden. This, this season, season, I'd rather have Damian Lillard than James Harden. Harden was just putting up, like, he was just averaging 40 like a points, month ago, like a month ago. Yeah. saying anything bad about James Harden. Yeah, he, James Harden was doing really good a month ago. But right now, Damian Lillard is doing better. And I've been giving this a lot of thought and consideration. The way Lillard, like, his maturity level is, to me, is a lot greater than Harden's maturity level. And I think Damian Lillard, like, I think the the Trailblazers have put him in such bad positions throughout his career. But Lillard has always made the best out of it. I've We've seen Harden, when he gets teammates he doesn't like, he gets them shipped out of town. When he has, his coach is trying to hold him responsible, he'll get his coach fired. So we've seen Harden, like, unravel a little bit, and Harden kind of show his immaturity he doesn't he doesn't choke but he doesn't like ball out you know the i mean other than last season i mean the last season i know the blazers went conference finals or mm -hmm. whatever but i mean rockets lost the main series was the rockets and warriors not the blazers warriors like yeah. that was more the conference finals and other than that like the blazers have lost in the first round almost every single time i mean they they did go I mean, they did make the Western Conference Final with that team. I mean, yeah. That's well, impressive. They beat, they beat the, the Nuggets Thunder, and, then, and the Thunder. And the Nuggets. But Those are two really good teams. Like, what I'm saying is if the Rockets were on the other side, they would have went to the Conference Finals. Like, it was just because of the seeding the Rockets had that they had to play the Warriors that early. Mm -hmm. But everyone knew, like, the series was the Rockets-Warriors. Okay, nobody, nobody thought the Blazers were going to beat the Warriors. Okay, okay but do you, think, do, you, do, you think, yeah. okay, do you think the Rockets... Um, roster is better than the Blazers roster? No, definitely not. No? No. What? The Rockets go maybe go like six deep right now. Yeah. Um, no, not. I'm saying like, last year. Rockets. Last year was better too. They had Evan Turner. They went deep. Ev they bro, Evan, Evan Turner yes, is great. your example. He's a great spent, a bench, like scorer. Evan Turner is your yes. example for why the Blazers are better than the Rockets. I mean, you were saying Evan they're bad. Turner they had a great is your last reason year. for them being better than the Rockets. CJ McCollum. What about Chris, uh, Chris Paul? Is but that guy good? CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum was terrible. Capella you just said he was terrible. We just traded him. Is Clint Capella You good? just said we should trade is him. Chris, I, okay, just because okay. you trade someone doesn't mean they're terrible. You just said he wasn't they, versatile. He doesn't have much to his game. He doesn't have upside. I mean, we saw that against the Warriors. <laughs> I mean, but I'm saying they still, Capella is still a good, like, but the a Blazers have the same. Like the same core even when they were losing i mean they have mccullum lillard and like nurkic or like a different center but but like I they said, had I, like essentially the same the same pieces but now like lillard just hooping a lot more than he did before like yeah. instead of 30 it's 50. Oh, and yeah. then we see mccullum kind of drop off a little bit i don't but like i said they I just need to double him i don't think the blazers are built well like i said like they have I don't they're think surviving they're... like by the like skin of their teeth. Yeah, because yeah. Lillard's giving them 50 a game. Also, I didn't say Harden has been... I didn't say Lillard has been better than these players. I didn't say he's been the best point guard. I'm saying right now, he's playing like the best point guard in the league. You said this season he was the best point guard. Yeah, this season. And I didn't say last starter year. He was on the All-Star team, was he? I mean, he was first team... He made first team All-NBA last year. But he didn't start... He didn't get starting this year? No, he didn't. He didn't? 
Well, now Keon, I'm just going to say something. Keon loves little shifty point guards who, has, who are great at ball handling, kind of like Kobe, just can ISO and just get their own bucket. Mm-hmm. But like Kyrie, Damian Lillard just can't be the best player on this team and lead his team to a championship. Lillard would be a great 1B option, but he just can't be the 1A. Which point guard in the NBA can right now? Luka. Oh, they're going to win the championship this year? I mean, they can in the future, near future, too. Oh, so that hasn't been but, I mean, yet. he's doing Harden. more. Harden? Harden. Yeah. Harden. Luka's doing which, more with less. Which championship less. is Harden won? He can't. You asked me who can, and okay, Harden but, can. But he hasn't. But he can. I mean, he but can. he hasn't. He can. But honestly, I'm, if you I'm look Steph at Curry, the roster, won a okay, championship St- as the best player yeah, Steph, on this team. Steph Curry's not playing right now, though. Okay. <laughs> nah, I'm That's giving you a pass. Saying. I said I'm this year. year. If you okay. look at Dallas, I'm giving you a pass example. Roster. Harden can. Okay, but I'm saying, yes, yeah, Steph Curry. Okay, would, obviously, would, the future hasn't happened yet. Okay, but it, it there's a reason. Like, Harden has had chances to be the best player on his team and win. Okay, then I give you a pass example. He hasn't done it. Okay, I agree with Curry, but Curry isn't playing this year. That's why I'm saying Lillard is the best point guard in the league. If Curry was playing at Curry level, I'd say it's Curry. Okay. Okay, so that point is negated. Okay, so um, I think the Mavericks have a worse roster than the Blazers. Um, Again, especially with Porzingis it, being injured on and off, and the Dallas are in six. All right, yeah, I think it fits. I think they're, they they have a good chemistry. I think it fits really well. Like, they're, but, but Luka's me, not playing, and they're still doing good. Like, yeah, but, but maybe... Brunson put up 27 a, points. Really this, size, I know, but maybe is this, like, a case of um, where... I, I mean, this is just mentioned, but, like, you know, he's scoring too much to the hurt of his team. I know that, I mean, they're, like, winning games, but I mean, they're five, at the end of the day, they're still not a playoff team, and he's been doing all of this, so, like... They're 5-1 and one since he's been on this table. I know, but if I'm looking at it from a media perspective, like, like Harden was putting up very similar numbers when they were losing, and he was getting a lot of hate. Now, not only that they were losing, like, the, like during the stretch, but that they were still having a losing record, he was getting a lot of hate. And, like, if you just... I mean, like, like John ja Moran, like... The Grizzlies have a better record than the Blazers, and it's his first season. I mean, yeah, I agree, but I think so, the I think the Blazers will serve. Like you agree, the, the Blazers I mean, yeah, will serve. Yeah, you're gonna win your eight seed, and you're but as of right now, yeah, like and you're the best player in the league, and you're but carrying I'm, your team but I'm, in eight seed. I mean, so, so, the Blazers best, need to just first win of all, I say best player best in the league. Point guard in the league. Yeah, but again, it, I mean, what team you're on matters too, and I mean, we'll see. I think the Blazers are gonna pick it up. Hall of Fame on their team. Uh, fringe All Star on their team. Yeah, they have a I mean, Hall of Famer. He's like 15th, 17th right. the year. The Thunder are hooping with Chris Paul, but it's like yeah. I mean, Chris Paul is really good too. I think yeah, Chris Paul is really slept on too. Yeah. And we're I think we should talk about Chris Paul in the next show because I want to praise him a little bit. But yeah, well, I guess. I, but he's not averaging like fifty. It's just he's being a leader. Yeah, yeah. but again, that team's just doing the small that, things on the court. That team fits really well. Like it's it, it's a lot of his. I don't know if it, like Shea, everyone from the. Right off the bat, thought Shane and Chris Paul would be. Like, I thought perfect. Steven Adams would be great with Chris Paul. And Danilo, like I did not. I I thought Shane uh, and Chris Paul would not work, and I thought they would trade Chris Paul because mm-hmm. just because there's no point. Yeah, I mean, no one there. saw the Thunder but, being I mean, like really wow, good. Like yeah, they're hooping. Yeah, we sure. should definitely show more love to Chris Paul too. Um, I think we'll leave it at that. Like I said, I think Damian Lillard is unbelievable. I think right now he's playing like the best point guard in the NBA. Y'all think Luca and Harden are better? I think at the moment, Damian Lillard is better. No, they'll get the A seed. They'll get the yeah. A seed. I'm excited to I see what he did, does in the playoffs. Um, especially not against, like... Round again. But it's he's not playing, like, fine. against the unbeatable Warriors, you know? He yeah, the, the Warriors so were also a terrible matchup for them because Curry and Clay are, like, were yeah. better than Damian at the time, better than Lillard and McCollum. So that your two best positions are being beat by the other two yeah. teams, like, backcourt, you know? That's and a really bad matchup. Too, something like yeah, for sure. Hey, what's up, guys? Hopefully you like watching Home Court. I'm with my boy Frank Franklin right there, Franklin the Turtle. If you like watching our content and want to see more of us and Franklin, just subscribe and watch any of these videos right there.